Bending an electron beam. In an experiment designed to measure the magnitude of a uniform magnetic field, electrons are accelerated from rest through a potential difference of 350 volts and then enter a uniform magnetic field that is perpendicular to the velocity vector of the electrons. The electrons travel along a curved path because of the magnetic force exerted on them and the radius of the path is measured to be 7.5 centimeters. What is the magnitude of the magnetic field? What is the angular speed of the electrons? First of all, I note that I have a uniform magnetic field and the electrons enter the uniform magnetic field perpendicular to the velocity vector of the electrons. Okay, so in this process, uh, when the electrons are first accelerated under a potential difference, the potential energy will be converted into kinetic energy. So delta K plus delta U will be zero. Therefore, we will see that the final kinetic energy, one over two mv squared, is equal to uh, the change in the minus the change in the potential energy so it's going to be equal to a q delta v so we have k final minus k initial is uh, equal to u initial minus u final <clears throat> now k initial is uh, zero and we have u final is zero so we have Basically, one half mv squared, the final kinetic energy equals to the initial potential energy, q times uh, delta v. So, we can find the speed then, v is equal to 2q delta v divided by m square root. Okay, now uh, the speed that we can calculate from this is basically 2 times the electron charge 1.6 10 to minus 19 coulombs times 350 volts divided by mass of the electrons 9.11 10 to minus 31 kilograms, the rest mass of the electrons, and in square root, this gives us a speed of 1.11 times 10 to 7 meters per second. Okay, so what is the magnitude of the magnetic field? Now, inside the magnetic field, I have the centripetal force, mass times the centripetal acceleration, mv square over r is equal to the magnetic force qvb since it's perpendicular we have sine 90 so that's going to be one so one of these v's will disappear and i can see that the magnetic field can be calculated as mv over qr so if i substitute the numbers here this is going to be 9.11 10 to minus 31 kilograms multiplied with 1.11 10 to 7 meters per second divided by the charge 1.6 10 to minus 19 coulombs multiplied by the radius 7.55 10 to minus 2 meters. So we will get our final answer for the magnetic field as 8.4 10 to minus 4 Tesla. So this will be the uh, magnetic field, the uniform magnetic field uh, which the electron enters. Now we can calculate the uh, angular speed of the electrons because the tangential speed is related to the angles, angular speed v is equal to omega r or omega is equal to v divided by r 
we already know what V is. It is 1.11 10 to 7 meters per second. The radius was 7.5 centimeters, 7.5 10 to minus 2 meters. So we obtain the angular speed 1.48 times 10 to 8 radians per second. Okay, so here we have an experiment. Uh, first, an electron starting from rest is accelerated through a potential difference 350 volts. It has a potential energy Q times delta V, which is converted into kinetic energy 1 half mv square. And we see that it uh, basically exits this uh, region of uniform electric field with this speed, 1.11 10 to 7 meters per second. It enters a uniform magnetic field perpendicular to the velocity vector, therefore it's going to perform uniform circular motion. The radius of the path is given. mv square over r is qvb, so b is equal to mv over qr. We have already calculated V here, so we substitute the electron charge and the radius. Uh, so the plus or minus, it doesn't matter here, it has to do with the direction of the magnetic field. So I basically take the absolute value of the charge in this calculation. So this gives me the magnetic field. The tangential speed is related to angular speed omega times r. So by dividing the tangential speed with the radius, we obtain our answer for the angular speed.